Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Stephen with Divine Mobile Home Central. In today's video, we are back out at Wayne Fryer in McClenney, Florida. Today, we are going to be touring this beautiful three bedroom, two bath, multi-section, double wide home. This model home is called the Palmetto. The Palmetto is made by townhomes. Now, in all honesty, this will be my first time ever exploring the town home brand. So I am super, super excited to, to view this home. So this is the outside of the home. You have a dormer over the front door. Very nice curb appeal. OK, now, before we go inside, I want to get you all a good feel for the outside of the home. All right, so we're walking around to the rear elevation. So this will be the rear elevation of the Palmetto. You'd have a, a dryer vent exhaust. And you also would have a, pat a glass patio sliding door, so you can add on a deck or patio to your manufactured home if you choose to do so. All right, so let's get to the good stuff. If you are new here, my name is Steven. I do manufactured modular home tours and I also do general manufactured home information videos. I invite you to join our family by subscribing to our channel. Welcome, we are happy to have you here. And please feel free to like and drop a comment down below. So these are some of the specifications that you'll get with this home. And you're, you're more than welcome to pause the video if you wanna look at it even further. So without further ado, let's get to the good stuff. All right, so as soon as you come in, you are greeted with your entryway. It's a very nice entryway. And you would also would have a storm door as well. So this would be your storm door. So if you don't want to, you know, if you want you know, the door to be open and you still want natural light to come in, this storm door is perfect. So, All right, so this is your foyer of the Palmetto. You have your shiplap wood paneling wall. You can put you like a bench there. You can put you um, uh, you could put you a, um, an entry table with a lamp. At least that's what I would do. You can put you a nice picture or a mirror right there as well. And you would also would have recessed lighting as well in this area. All right, so let's turn around and look at the living room. Now this would be your living room. Uh, straight ahead, you'll have your um, accent shiplap as well. Now remember, this is a model home. If you do not like shiplap, you do not have to get it. It is optional. And the thing that strikes me the most that I absolutely love, I really love these um, uh, plank wood flooring. Very, very nice. It gives it a very luxurious feel. This is a very nice size living room. I'll just pause for a second to get you all a good look. If I'm not mistaken, this home probably, I think this home just got here, so they're still in the process of um, putting it together. And I believe they may be staging it as well, so. But hey, you're, you are welcome to come here and see it in person, so you can get a much better feel for it, okay? So, all right, so another good look at the living room. And as you would notice, you have a, um, you have an option to put like a chandelier up there, or you could, or you could put you like a ceiling fan. And you also would have the AC vents in the ceiling throughout the entire house. All right, another good view. Really love this flooring here. All right, so let's go to over here and check out the kitchen and dining room area. Over here, you would have your dining room. Again, you have your shiplap over there as an accent piece. You have your um, can recess lights in the ceiling over here in the dining room as well as the kitchen. 
Uh, you got plenty of space for a, um, a six-seater or you can do a four-seater or a six-seater. No, whichever one you choose to do. I would probably add a six-seater. There's definitely plenty of space for it. All right, so over here, you'd have your kitchen. I really like this. I really love the center island area right here. I love the fact that they have the two columns. And you also would have the kitchen sink in the um, center island as well. This is a really nice sink, so. Gooseneck faucet. Of course, you would have your dishwasher. Not about kitchen appliances, but I figure I'd take a peek. You have your stainless steel appliance package. Now, of course, here is your um, glass patio sliding door, which is what we saw on the outside of the home before we came in. And I really love the blinds that they would have right here as well. So that's a nice feature too. Okay, again, this is your kitchen. I really love these, um, these uh, stained um, white cabinets. It gives it like an old world charm feel, but is very, very modern. Okay. You also would have your... Um, it's not like a granite, but it's, it's, it feels just like granite, but it's a very nice um, element. And you'll also have your backsplash along here as well. Sure, microwave above the stove. And I really love this nice space up here. You can display like your favorite decorations or you can also um, place your um, favorite herbs and spices right there too. You also have space above your refrigerator. Oh, you also would have a refrigerator. Okay, this is nice. All right, it's actually ice cold. <laughs> First time I ever seeing that here. That's, that's very interesting. Of course, you also have more um, cabinet space too. Get y'all a better look. I really love these um, side by side refrigerators. You know, if I purchase, if when I purchase my new manufactured home, that is a must have for me. I have to have, you know, a side by side refrigerator. And, uh, you know, I'll be just as happy with the black color. So, all right. And you also have space underneath your sink. So, there you are. Again, I love the wood vinyl flooring or the wood plank flooring throughout, excuse me. <laughs> Okay, so uh, right here, I think this would be the pantry. Now, as you can see right here, you would have a barn door. But remember, this is a model home. If you do not like the barn style, you can always opt for a regular standard door. So with that being said, let's take a look at the pantry right here. This would be your pantry space. You got plenty of space in your pantry. Get you all a good view right here. You know, with this pantry space and the cabinet space in the kitchen, it really, really makes up for it. All right, so before we check out the bedrooms, let's go over here and take a look at the utility room. So this would be your laundry room or utility room. This would be your utility room. Oh, good, you have light in here, awesome. Okay. Of course, you have a space right here for your um, your washer. Your washer will go right there, and your dryer machine will go right there. And it's always nice to have natural light in here while you're doing the laundry in the daytime. And you also would have space over here too. You got plenty of space for a folding table. You could put a freezer or an extra refrigerator if you want, if that's what you want to do. Remember, guys, this is your home. You do what you want. And of course, you would have your electric box. Overall, this is a very, um, very nice size laundry room. 
Okay, so let's go check out the bedrooms. And as you would notice, you would have also have the crown molding throughout too. So let's go see what these bedrooms have to offer. All right, so this is your hallway. And this is this would be their um, area where you would have your central heat and air conditioning. So your central heat and air run right through there for the house. All right, so let's check out the guest bathroom right here. This would be your hallway guest bathroom. Oh, wow, look at this. This is a first. This is a first. You have a, um, a towel rack right there. That's nice. You don't see that every day in manufactured homes, so that's a nice feature. Okay, over here you would have a space right here for cubby storage. Or, you know, put like um, toiletries or, you know, bath stuff, or, you know, you know, essential stuff for the bathroom. So, plenty of space right there. Okay, and right here, this would be your water heater access. So, your water heater would be right here behind the panel, which would be located right behind the door. You know, that's also very nice. Um, you know, usually when, when I look at these homes, the... Uh, um, the water heater is usually located in the bedrooms, but this is nice. Okay. All right, right here you have your full fiberglass tub and shower combo. Plenty of space. It's very easy to maintain, very easy to keep clean. And I really love the hardware that they would have right here too. It's, it has that um, old world charm feel, but yet yeah, it's very modern. And of course, we can't forget the shower head. You also have your shower head. So this is a huge plus right here. Full fiberglass tub and shower combo. Okay, of course, right there, you would have your commode or toilet. And you would have a toilet paper holder. You know, um, most manufacturers, you have to um, purchase, you know, your own, your own, um, toilet paper holders but this one comes this comes standard and as well as the um, towel rack so very nice all right you have your mirror right there hello everybody okay so you have your mirror I love the wood trim around the mirrors you have your recessed lighting above the mirror so for extra lighting as well as the lighting right there so this is your sink. It's a very nice porcelain sink and it has the same hardware as the uh, shower would have. And you also would have a place where you can plug in like your um, clippers or your flat iron. You know, if you have to shave or you have to flat iron your hair or if you have to dry your hair, you have an extra plug in all that right there. And of course you have the same cabinet space. You have the same color cabinet as you would have in the kitchen. So very nice guest bathroom. All right, so let's go over here and check out the first bedroom. All right, so I'm gonna keep this bedroom very brief because we do have several more homes to tour today. So of course you got plenty of space in this room. I'm not exactly sure of the dimensions of the rooms, but I will definitely insert them in the video for you while I'm editing the video. All right, let's take a look at the closet. Oh, we got light in the closet too, that's awesome. All right. Wow, it's a nice size closet. Okay. All right, let's go check out the other bedroom. So there's plenty of space in this room, you guys. All right, this is your other bedroom. Get you a view from another angle. Slow pan. Okay. And I actually forgot to turn on the light. And you also have light in the room as well. 
Let's take a look at the closet real quickly. Then we'll go check out the master. So right here will be your closet. All right, you have light in the closet too. That's awesome. This is a very nice size. This, this closet, I think this closet might be the same size as the other one. And I like the fact that they um, wrap the shelving around. I love that feature. That's always a plus. I tell you guys, this home is um, it's nice and cool in here. It's very, just a very, very energy efficient home. So you're you're gonna save a lot on your energy bills, you know, while you're you know while you're running the air conditioning and the heating, you know, year round. Another look. All right, slow down here. All right, so let's go take let's go take a look at the master. Now, before we do, if you are new here and you're watching this for the first time, I invite you to join our family by subscribing to our channel. Welcome. We are happy to have you here. And please feel free to like and drop a comment down below. And definitely give this video a big thumbs up if you love this video tour. It will certainly help with the algorithm of this channel and help this video reach other viewers here on the platform. And again, thank you. With that being said, let's go check out the master bedroom. All right, so this is your master bedroom. That's we're going inside. All right, so this is your master. I love the um, wall right there. I think that's a, it might be an accent wall. I'm not exactly sure. Or it could be the same color. But yeah, this is plenty of space in here. Let's take a, get y'all another look from another angle. You'll put your king size bed there. You can have two nightstands. I'll probably put like a, a tall Chester drawer right here. Or I may put the Chester drawer right here. But that's at least what, what I would do. Now, how, however you, re, you rearrange this room, that is completely up to you. Remember, you are the king and queen of your own castle, so you do what you want. All right, another look from another angle. All right, let's take a look at the closet. All right, so this will be the closet. Awesome, all right. So you got plenty of space in this master closet. Now, it's not the largest master closet ever seen in a manufacturer home, but this is a very, very nice size for this size of a home. Now, I love the fact that they wrap the shelving around too. And you know, as I've noticed, I've been seeing like, um, I love the fact that they have these uh, wood flooring throughout the home. That's very nice. Okay. Um, let's take a close look at this closet real quickly. Then we'll check out the master bathroom. All right. So you have additional space behind the closet door. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's go take a look at the master bathroom. Then we'll wrap up the video. Okay, so right here be your master bathroom, you guys. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous master bathroom. Gorgeous, this is really nice. All right. Again, you have your shiplap wall right here. And you also have uh, your can recess lighting above that. And you have these nice wide mirrors. Look at how wide these mirrors are. Again, you have your um, porcelain sink with it, like like you like you saw in the guest bathroom, and you also have this beautiful hardware as well. And of course, here you have a, a place to do your makeup, uh, do your hair, do your nails, shave, it's whatever you have to do. Now, me personally, I don't know. I'm not sure if I can. I don't know if they'll be able to add that, but I'll probably put like an additional smaller mirror right here that goes all the way down to the counter. At least that's what I would do. But, you know, if not, you can always buy like a small mirror or something to put right there, right on the top of the counter. So it's perfect. And of course, you have these two plug in outlets for flat irons, um, hair dryers, and um, shavers. So, and there's another look at your sink right there. 
I know y'all like to look at the cabinet space, so let me give y'all a sneak peek. All right. All right, so let's take a look at the garden tub right here. You have your beautiful garden tub, plenty of space. You also have your hardware that matches the rest of the hardware in the house. You have your shiplap uh, wood paneling wall. And you also would have a nice window that is frosted for, the glass is frosted for privacy. That's very nice. And they actually have a window sill right here too. So you could put like little flowers, plants, or you know, whatever you want to put right there. But it is completely up to you. That's at least what I would do. Now I love the fact that you can see into the shower. But speaking of that, let's go take a look at it. Have a nice shower right here. You have your Rainmaker shower head. Of course, you would have your bench, you know, your place where you can sit down. And I really love this tile. Again, guys, this is hand laid tile. Now, this is my first time ever seeing a, a completely different style tile in the shower. So. And you'll also have the nice hardware, too. Uh, let's sit here. Let's get y'all a good feel for this. I just want to get y'all a good feel for this. Uh, shower right here. So this is how it look if you're looking out from the shower. Alrighty. And I got plenty of space in here, as you can see. Plenty of space. All right. All right, so over here, you would have your commode, of course, as well as, yep, that works. <laughs> oh, you have an LED light as well as your exhaust vent. That's nice. All, all right, you guys. And you also would have a, a tile rack, so. <laughs> Got my words twisted there. You also have a tile rack. All right, so let's go in here and close out the video. All right, guys, so if you're interested in this home, um, any information that I would have will be in the description box. Now, remember, I do not work for the dealer or the manufacturer of this home. I tour these homes because I love and enjoy touring these homes, and I love sharing my opinion with you all. And I really love sharing the homes that I view. So again, if you have any additional questions about this home or pricing, the dealership's information will be down in the description box. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. All right, you guys, well, it's time for me to move on to the next house. This was the Palmetto by Town Homes. This is Stephen with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. You all have a wonderful day.